We just completed a major milestone with our engine. We just demonstrated mode transition, which means we went from running in turbojet mode to ramjet mode. This is probably the most critical challenge in unlocking hypersonic flight. Here's why it's important. To hit hypersonic speeds, you need to fly at Mach 5, over 3,000 miles an hour. Turbojets just can't go that fast. However, ramjets can. Problem is, ramjets only work when you're going really fast, like Mach 3. So in order to take off on a regular runway and go to Mach 5, you need to operate on a turbojet and a ramjet. And that's what our engine is. It's a hybrid turbojet ramjet engine called Chimera. We took Chimera up to the Notre Dame Turbo Machinery Laboratory where we could simulate flight light pressures and temperatures using heated air. So the ramjet needs incoming air to function and starts uh, around Mach 3 or so. So we need to simulate air coming into the turbojet at around Mach 3 and then do a controlled process of shutting down the turbojet and lighting the ramjet. The air flows into the inlet, feeding the turbojet up to supersonic speeds. Then we bypass the turbojet and turn on the ramjet. We ran the engine up to Mach 4, the limit that the facility could take. None of us like jump up or cheer. That's like a lot of it has to do with the fact of like when we are actually like actively testing an engine mode, like you don't want any like large disruption or celebration. Like, so it wasn't kind of till like after we bring the engine back to standby that we were able to be like, we did it, like incredible. A lot of the first testing that we were doing is proving that all of these operating modes were possible. And now it's dialing in the knobs and making everything faster and higher performance and really just understanding where we're lacking and getting better at that. It's a huge deal. We had done it back in the seed round with a small scale engine, but this is the actual engine that will be flying on quarter horse using the, uh, the J85. So really it's uh, de-risks the quarter horse development uh, a whole time.